Hey guys, welcome to another video of one edit per day. If you haven't seen the first video, I'm going to make a playlist so you can watch all of them. This is episode number two. Uh, today I'm going to be editing Robbie Keane. Uh, tomorrow it'll be someone else and I'm going to be doing this for a week or so. So let's get the intro going and the video started. <laughs> Okay, and now we have Robbie Keane, who is still the one with the most goals scored for Ireland. Alright, so first things first, uh, I don't want him in the picture. So I'm going to have to crop this a little tighter than I had hoped for. But I'm hoping I can still ke keep the Ireland badge in the picture. So, still going to have to go in a little closer. Yeah, something like that. Maybe go up to the right a little bit. Okay, crop wise, that looks all right. In the background, the lines can't really tell if the horizon is that straightened or not. I'm happy with that. Uh, temperature wise, looks good. Tint as well. The exposure, I'm not gonna check that just yet. I'm gonna see the, the lens correction first and then go from there. So remove chromatic aberration always, yep, and lens correction, brightens the image, uh, usually removes the vignetting as well. So now we're going to start working on the picture itself. Now if you want to see if anything is clipping, you can either press J on your keyboard, or you can press uh, this little triangle here on the left and on the right, so on the left for the blacks and on the right for the whites. If you press J, it does for both. And in this case, you can see that there is a little bit of clipping here. Not much though, so it's not really that important. It's not like you can tell. Uh, so let's start working on the, the image. Let's bring the shadows just a little bit up, maybe around there, the whites. Hmm, okay, let's see, that's the thing you can do is you can go all in and then start dialing until you find the happy place, so to speak. I think I'm okay with that. Relax. Let me just check something. Yeah, if you press and hold option or alt on the PC, it helps. You can see also the, the histogram moving as you dial that in okay i'm okay with that now texture i don't want to change that but clarity i do it's somewhat of a portrait now i don't go i don't want to go too crazy on this one um i think around six or seven maybe you can go in a little bit you can see let me just show you you see the difference yeah, so that's too much, I think. Around seven, maybe. Okay, I'm quite happy with this, to be honest. I don't want to make it too um, grungy, so to speak. I'm quite happy with the colors. Maybe it's a little bit too bright on the left side. I could perhaps uh, put a radio filter and careful when you do this that you have the right one selected right now I had the iris enhance in this case I want exposure and then if you double click exposure goes to zero and then you just start working with if you want it to be brighter to be darker you know you work with that so maybe just slightly darker and I'm done I think I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. I don't think I would change too much. I mean, yeah, I guess I could brighten his eyes just a little bit, but not too much. Um, so just pick a brush, make sure you have show selected or mask overlay to see what you're doing. In this case, it's too big, the brush. So I'm gonna click and hold command, which I believe is control on the PC, and use the scroller to make the brush smaller or bigger right so in this case something like this just so I can see what I'm doing 
and if you go too much you can press and hold option or alt and just brush on the part that you messed up okay now watch this if like like right now I messed up there so I'm gonna remove that part now untick the show selected mask overlay and now look by default the exposure is set as 0.35 you can go higher obviously to make him look like a vampire which is not what I want to do I just want just a little bit more brightness on his eyes just to make him pop just a little bit it's so subtle that you can barely see um, and I think I'm pretty happy with that so now let's turn the lights off so you can clearly see the edit now pressing L and now pressing F you go to full screen it's loading just give it a second and there you go that would be my final image for Robbie Keane and press F to go back to Lightroom and you're done thank you so much for watching guys and if you like this video just hit that thumbs up helps a lot and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video stay safe guys